Hello, here we are. It's Marvel's Midnight Suns. I hope the game will run better today because my friend Lothar sent me a link about uh, that tells you how to make it so that 2K, the 2K launcher, uh, you don't have to use the 2K launcher, which means that you're not using as many system resources. And when I booted the game up earlier, it did seem to be running better. So we'll see. How's it going? It's time for more Marvel. I have played this game a bit off screen, a couple of hours. Um, there's enough randomness in how stuff shows up, like the cards you get or what missions you're offered, that I think we'll have, I'll have a bit of variety from what I did previously. But I had enough fun playing this on stream earlier this week that I decided to go back to it. Plus I wanted to play the game. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna get quieter again. And we're gonna go back over here. And so let's see, I think I think we were here because this is the oldest manual save and the newer ones both say offline. Let's see, December 5th, December 4th. Yes, okay. Happy Friday, everybody. If you're not watching on a Friday, I wish you the best in Friday energy, unless you don't want Friday energy. In like, I don't know, maybe Friday's your Monday because not everybody has the same schedule. But I am happy that it's Friday. I will get to see my beloved spouse more over the weekend um, since, you know, she doesn't have to be at work. And I am hopefully going to get to do some cool stuff. I signed up to kind of uh, to jump into a game of Cyborg which is kind of the cyberpunk riff on the game Morkborg. And I'm going to be playing Destiny 2 tonight with uh, Greg and Brandon, a.k.a. Arvin Elleron and the Rising Tides, as we return to our Speculate Fire Team series thing that I don't know that we have a specific title for. Fire Team Fridays is a great title, but that has been used by at least some other channels because I got the I, I got that work title from uh, Waypoint. So I don't know that I necessarily want to suggest that for Speculate because, you know, that's using somebody else's bit to at least a small extent. So here we are. I feel like things are less chuggy. And we're going to talk to Captain Marvel. Then couldn't we just Sorry, we're still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? <sighs> nice uh, reference there. We should be able to track percussive the maintenance the signature to its source, then, right? I do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates right, um... now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately. I will, um, you know, I will go in and raise the game audio a little bit when the uh, cutscene is done because I can't escape out of it right now. But thank you for letting me know. That makes two of us. Oh, hey. Come on. It happens to everyone. Well, okay. Not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. Creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. 
find me when you're ready. Okay. Ready for a mission. Piece of experimental technology. I should fix it. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to bring up game audio a bit. And come back. And hopefully this will be better. Saying my time is valuable sounds kind of uppity, but there are people out there counting on me to keep the peace. Okay. We just have the story mission. Faustian bargain. We will get a gamma coil common and a common artifact. It we was just recently that the Hudson Yards Development Restoration Association purchased this entire block. I'll let you think about that one for a minute. So Hudson Yards is the neighborhood where the, ja the Jacob Javits Convention Center is. It's also where a lot of the train train lines for Manhattan or for New York City overall um, terminate. And in the past decade has been has had a lot of development projects to like build up the area and things. So it's actually a really nicely chosen place to to pick something like this. I'm not a huge fan of that grimace, but it's all good. Maybe next time say it less vampire -y. Gamma signatures and unstable isotopes aren't really in my wheelhouse. So we'll be patching Dr. Banner through from Avengers Tower once you reach the other side. Okay. We go. I'm curious to see how much this mission is going to be like it was when I played it offline. Like how much there how much variation there is. Um, in anything in the story missions. I'm guessing lower on the story missions and more on the kind of non kind of meta plot missions. Probably can scratch a band end off the description of this place. You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. Yo, Han, I heard he was dead. Well, hoped is perhaps the more accurate description. Calls himself Faustus now. Hydra's resident mad this scientist. This is fun. Not just Hydra's. Lilith's. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. Uh-oh. I'm gonna need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah, I don't do stealth. <laughs> Kill them. I dig the part of these cutscenes that set up where the how the fight is. It definitely helps the transition. So we have just always considered fast as a bit of a crackpot, but its fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. So everybody is uh, full on health because we just started. So I don't need to heal. We're gonna re redraw that gets us a fist of radiance so we have several heroism cards and we already have three captain marvel cards so one step ahead doesn't do anything i'm gonna do a 
quick slash on this minion because I get the card play re back right away. And then I'm going to see if I can... Let's see, you're a minion, you're a minion. Minion. Okay, so there's only one more minion left. And then there's one, two... Oh, so... so. But these minions are not close to each other. However, I can use this to take out that one. So let's have the hunter move over here. And then I'm going to use the slash, which will knock this enemy into that enemy, which will then explode, I hope. Yep. Much exploding. So this enemy is down at 2, and this one's at 14, so that's pretty great. I now have 2 Heroism, and I have 2 card plays left. I don't think I need 2 Fists of Radiance, so let's redraw that. And we don't have enough Heroism for the stake, but we could get there. This is Lifesteal, and this is Knockback. We could knock this enemy into that enemy. I don't know that we can get over to knock this enemy into that one because we have already used our move. But if we use a knee strike, we can get some taunt and block, which will help protect the other characters. Five will take out that enemy. There's also this minion over here. So let's just do this. And Fists of Radiance will knock that enemy out. So that sounds good to me. At least Great. Hydra Green is iconic. If you're a low rent mercenary, I mean. And then we do have somebody. Or we have an object interaction. I can zap that and it will explode that enemy a bit. Very cool. I have to remember to do a lot, do as much as possible with these environmental bits. Because it seems like they really make a difference. And you can't do that, right? Because we already used our move. Cool. That's the turn. Payback's gonna be fun. What happened to my taunt? Do you lose taunt if you do another attack? Good. I could use some more practice. Let's find out. Tactics mode. Activate tactic modes by pressing left shift. This science. just lets you do free move within the this area. Is hard to ignore. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. You know so we've got minion, fight. minion, minion. And a resurrected demon and oh, a lot of minions. Great. So, quick strike. Right away. And that gets us a heroism. Let's do. Actually, let's use Make Him Bleed. That'll give my some my things some bleed. All right, I don't need two of stakes because they both take heroism. Um, so I could not do both whip and stake because of the heroism that they take, unfortunately. But I might be able to do photon beam. So, if Captain Marvel moves to here, I may be able to photon beam through all of those enemies. Yeah, look at that. Now I see why so many 
Playing three Captain Marvel cards will draw the Go Binary ability. In her binary state, Captain Marvel will deal significantly more damage. She loses that once all of her block has been removed. So she gets a bunch of block when she goes binary. Um, I mean, there's, so there's two enemies left. And I don't have enough card plays. Um, so let's redraw the stake because we ended up not using it. So if I go binary, this does not cost a card play. Let's go ahead and do that. I think we already used a quick strike, but this will just take an enemy off the board. Okay, it got refunded and a level up for blade. Very nice. Now I have the heroism where I can whip and whip it good. Let's rotate here and just knock them into the hole. Okay, so that's all the enemies. Nicely done. We have a stage two of this fight, right? Perfect opportunity to field test mother's device. That looks like a mine, but it's got magic stuff on it. Not great. Marvel is tremendously powerful, we'll say. Get her. Phase two. Do I keep the binary from the last fight? Probably not. Maybe. Maybe I get to start the fight in binary mode. So I need to get to the artifact and get the uh, use the recover artifact card, and I have to break the shield guard's protection to then be able to access the card because the I've accessed the truck. I did not smash that thing. So we have this you might tanky character. All that energy towards your newfound adversaries instead, and the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with. So I have to reduce the block to zero to remove the protected condition. Stronger than they look, at least. So Captain Marvel is in binary mode to start here, which is pretty great. But I need so let's so much knockback here. Let's just take this enemy out because they're off on their own, and we get the card back as a quick thing. Chain is really good here because I can go one, two, three, take out three different enemies all, all in one go. Or I could slash and knock one of these into another one. I may just focus on uh, I can do that, I can do this. Those will, they'll take heroism. All right, I'm gonna focus on da, da, da. clearing out the minions, I think. Restore health, I don't know that we need to restore health right now. Okay. So I draw two cards here. Let's use Make Him Bleed, because it'll add a bunch of heroism. And we get an extra blade card. So chain three means I can go one, two, three. That feels really good. I think they can arrest you for that in New York, Blade. So we got one card play le card use left. We could photon beam. Um, 
so if Captain Marvel moves over here, I think I can... Oh, that's going to be too close. But if I move over here, I can photon beam and not be in the explosion, right? Because I can do this, and it will take almost all of your protection and potentially explode some things on you. Okay. It did not seem to do extra exploding damage, but it did look cool. Um, and we're out of moves, so we can't do any of that. So, and turn. Captain Marvel is still in binary mode, which means protection. Blade will get to use bleed on the next attack, and I might be able to stake for life steal, which would get him some hit points back. Days means that Carol cannot be the first person to act this turn. At least one other character will have to act. The number of actions remaining are displayed on the dazed health hero's health bar. Of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and so one, dazed for one, uh, no, dazed for one action. Yes. Alright, knock back, because there's a bunch of enemies on the board, and that's a problem. Blade told me to mention your mother. Apparently she is promiscuous. <laughs> okay. Yep, chain. Let's do... I do want to take that enemy out, though, is the thing. So let's redraw this heal and see what comes back. All right, this is my superior chain. So if we do one, two, three. And that breaks the protection. So now we can get the artifact. Blade goes and gets the thing. Great. Defeat the remaining enemies to complete the mission. One less thing to worry about. Approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. Okay, so I can... Vault off this thing and take out that enemy, which is very fun. And then it looks like there's just three, yeah, three enemies with health bars left. We do have a redraw, but, uh, oh, look, we got, there's a move we we can use for uh, somehow. So let's go to Blade. Let's have Blade move over here. And then can I target this? can explode that on that other enemy. And that enemy is bleeding. So. <laughs> no, you're not. Right. It looks like that was all of Carol's block. So this enemy is about to do like a player or a, a personal based clear. explosion we won't be able to recreate Faustus's experiment or track potential future variants gamma signatures without a baseline resonant sample from his initial occult catalyst got it stop the truck okay 12 24 29 so let's see one, two, for you. Not bad. You have 24 left. If 
the knockback is less important here because we have tougher enemies. But we can knock these enemies into big explodey things. So let's do that. Uh, I don't think that enemy actually is all the way out. If I have a card draw, if I have a card play left, I can use one of my quick attacks. Yes, okay. So I can do this. Because now that enemy was low enough in health that I could use a quick attack and KO an enemy when I do so. And we have a redraw left and we have a move. So let's have Carol move, or Captain Marvel move so as to not um, get exploded. Nope. So that, I don't think that would do enough damage to explode that enemy, so we're going to use make him bleed again. Okay. So, lifesteal would be great, but I'm out of card plays, so we're just going to let this enemy explode and then see where we are. Okay. So, you have 13 health left. And I have a big stake, so let's wrap this up. I suppose by now I'd normally be tromping through the warehouse, hurling the puny truck at the moon. Don't worry, Bruce. I've got a pair of torn purple pants with your name on them. And we're done. Getting better every Is that two level ups for Blade? What is this thing? Bad guy crane. Full of bad guy stuff. I know those symbols from the time of the first hunt. That glyph means barrier. That one almighty. Something, something. Gods, Gods and, demons. and demons. So a spooky bad guy crate. Mm. Very spooky. Designed to contain powerful magic. Be careful. <sighs> Got it. Don't cross the streams. Never do. How about we get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves. Cool. Good job, team. I don't know, like, how, how high do these ratings go? Finished in six turns. Nobody got injured or knocked out. We got some gloss. We got these rewards. We got a photo thing. Let's go. Yeah, because she... She was the one who absorbed the big thing. Camera low. Tight. No, that's a little bit much. Front. Yeah. Focal distance. Okay, let's give that back. There we go. Take a picture. This part's very fun. That's fine. And we go. We have some tentative progress with the stuff with the Speculate website, but things are underway, and then there's some more work to be done. Um, so we'll see. I will still be cross-posting the next podcast episode to Patreon um, when it is available, and then when we've got the website kind of back up on its feet, I'll make sure that we get those po cross-posted over to the blog so that they go into the RSS feed. bombed until my 10th run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? Then you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey Tournament tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The Eternal Spirits of Vengeance take technical fouls very seriously, especially in the fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. It is always movie night. Exactly. Wow, out of jail again? Who made this game? 
Wilson Fisk. Well, if parking is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. It's fun. You know what they say? All work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. It is important to remember that Monopoly is a corruption of a anti-capitalist game I um, should rest. that is then turned into a Another super capitalist thing. game, which is fairly perfect as an example of how capitalism works. I love that mini jacket that Nico has. That's extremely Let cool. See. How did this work again? Hunter does not know tech, but Superlink is basically Midnight Sun's Facebook. Nico Minoru, uh, swooping in at the last second to save the day, leading away that carnivorous sludge monster to keep New York City safe. Just going to say it. He's the hashtag astounding Spider-Man. Ileana Rasputin, he had too many words. Blade, don't let those words or the red and blue pajamas fool you. Spider-Man is no joke. Robbie Reyes, wow, looks like somebody made a friend. Blade, more like an enemy of an enemy. Starting to think we could use more of those. Carol Danvers, that's the old Avengers tolerate your spooky strange teammate attitude I was looking for. Nico. I know who's going on this team's spirit, uh, this month's uh, team spirit award. Hashtag Blade cares. Blade, I have to go train. And Nico sends me a message. Hunter, you there? By the way, this is Nico. In case no one gave you the rundown on how the spark works, Blade and Cap Marvel just filled us in. Freaky stuff, especially Faustus. And then they all just left here, uh, left me here alone. You should come hang out. Thank you, Nico. But I am tired. There must be hangouts. The hunter is allowed to not not allowed to be a grumpy uh, loner. Getting hard to keep finding ways to say open door around here. And despite what Robbie says, I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven. Blood magic stuff. Cool room, spacious. Oh, is that bed for Charlie? Yes. Yes. So, if you're planning on giving me some sort of brooding code of the stoic warrior speech, I'm immune. Just ask Blade or Magic. From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff Caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Work? Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff. Or quasi-human. <laughs> You're a midnight sun now. One of us. Nico, I was just hydrobombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I, uh, keep seeing Wanda. She... Never mind. I will meet you outside. Yes! I'll go nuke us some popcorn and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside, needed to cool off. Really need to hang a fan over that forge. Or maybe crack open the casket of Agent Winter's in here? Community! <sighs> These missions can't be good for caretaker's blood pressure. That's twice now her precious hunter has almost gotten smacked by Hydra. All right, so hangouts with Nico, watching a movie, hero awards, friendship XP gains. You're going to get different options for hangouts as the game goes on. I know this entire situation's got to suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected chosen one thing. I get why facing Lilith won't be easy. I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. So I'm going to try and be supportive instead of like, that's. Sorry to hear you went through that. It was bad, but I learned to deal with it. It's the only way forward, right? Look, I'm glad my mother is gone, but yeah, at times I just want to hear her voice again. Some days I'd give anything to make that happen. It makes me hate her even more. Lilith gave birth to me? 
but caretaker was my true mother. Right, so your adoptive mom raised you to kill your birth mom. Yes. <laughs> You'll fit in perfectly. Uh, enough about our crappy parents. You missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. So, the first thing you need to know, the glowing briefcase is a metaphor. Let me do it again. So, the, the, the TV was showing a Western, but she's referencing Pulp Fiction. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. So we get seven friendship from the activity as a base and plus one from uh, conversation options that Nico approved of. And we get outfits. I think these are outfits for Nico, not for the hunter. So what did you think of the movie? I understood more than I should. How? You've been dead for three centuries. I am not so sure I was dead. Not exactly. I recall a deep slumber, but not the void. I... I dreamt. Of what? Of everything. Much of this world is familiar to me. I know it from my dreams. Uh, that's not creepy at all. So, do you know everything? I know no, everything. I... Think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. Ah, so she's been You're watching... Not today, but not omniscient. Then I'm guessing you don't know much about me. Just what you shared earlier. She's been watching Dream TV. You're always free to ask. Like, what's the staff of one? Or who were the runaways? I had some questions about your old team. It's kind of weird that the... Or... The runaways? Sure thing. You could just use the wording that she gave, right? Who was on the team? At first, uh, Chase with his mad science gear, Molly, our pint-sized powerhouse, Carolina, the solar-powered sweetheart. Gert had a telepathic link to Old Lace, a genetically engineered Deinonychus from the 87th century. I handled the blood magic, though I didn't understand it much. And Alex? Uh, well, we don't talk about Alex. We don't talk about Alex. No, no, no. How did we become a team? Were you all heroes who banned I know together? all this backstory for Nico, but... No, we were normal doesn't. kids. We saw each other once a year when our parents got together to reminisce. And then we found out two very disturbing things. <laughs> First, our parents were supervillains who sacrificed children to evil gods. Second, each of us had some sort of powerful birthright. Our parents wanted us to follow in their footsteps. What did you do? We ran, but eventually we realized only the six of us could stop our parents and their dark gods. So we faced them and stopped them from destroying reality as we know it. You know, typical kid stuff. So that's old place right there. Where are your friends now? Molly attends Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Carolina left Earth to marry alien nobility. Gert, she, uh, she didn't make it. After Gert passed, uh, Chase and I had a falling out. The last I heard, he and old lace are living at his family home in L.A. As for Alex, uh, he chose his side, and it wasn't ours. He died with our parents. So, there's more stuff to ask, but I'm gonna, get going to kind of parcel this out uh, a little good, bit. Good timing. Um, looks like Caretaker wants to speak with you, and wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. I think that is mostly Nico. I'm glad to see you're using your free time productively. Noting that the Whatever caretaker wants to talk. This knows he's willing to make any sacrifice to protect it. So I should be over the here to talk to you. Next time he's cornered, maybe his own life he's forced to take. Looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. I was planning on getting some rest, but things are moving at a frantic pace. 
For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. <sighs> Not quite like it was in the good old days. The world is still full of monsters and villains, my mother being the worst of them all. You forgot heroes. The world is still full of heroes. Though, sadly, we're missing one of our best. Agatha? Where is Agatha? I'm sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner. But you should know... Agatha... She's no longer with us. What? That is impossible. She was so... Fierce. Indomitable. Or maybe just kind to a fault. <laughs> the loss could not have been easy for you. Thank you for that. But it's not just my loss. It's all of ours. And what makes this loss even harder to accept is that it was completely avoidable. Agatha died in an accident caused by her protege. Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing. Too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her. But she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even ash to remember her by. The others were heartbroken, as was I. But I also saw the danger, the threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum to study under Doctor Strange. I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. Seems like. So we have these options where light kind of, it's not light side, dark side. It's, I think it's more like your outlook, optimistic, pessimistic maybe. So. There's upside, like the ups there's upsides to each, to like light path, dark path, or stay in the middle. I'm gonna go toward light path because I was generally Wanda play these games as like a goody goody. Was it that easy to send her away? I didn't have a choice. Wanda's powers were beyond even her own control. And this time I had no Agatha to help me, as I had with you. I thought she would be safe with Strange. On that part, at least, I was clearly mistaken. Oh, Wanda. Agatha. It seems we've lost them both now. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter. I get the vibe from Caretaker that she and Agatha were together, not just like buddies in fighting spell stuff, but we'll see. So this is the balance thing. Hunter can follow the path of light or dark through the choices they make in the Abbey and the abilities they use in combat. Powerful rewards can be unlocked as Hunter moves down either path. And now we will follow the puppy to the shrine. Good dog. We can press left shift to sprint when we are outside. Which is good because there's a lot of outside. Okay, here is the shrine. Agatha has a cat. Dead, but not gone. Agatha? 
You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> commune with the spirits. I, is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. Though it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now you've heard I had a bit of trouble with a my bit of trouble. corporeal body. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride. Even death. And what have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. The blood gate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. Yeah, you know, the blood gate. We can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. What's the worst that can happen? Touch the blood seal. How, how did this work again? Well, there you go. This ominous looking portal is known as a blood gate, and you're the only one among us who can pass through it. Blood gate? Caretaker's handiwork? Yes, Sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with Wanda. It's become something of a habit for her. I have noticed that. What lies beyond is meant for you, as much as it ever was for her. Assuming you're up to the challenge, that is. You know I am. I do. But it's always polite to ask. Whoa. This is... The Agatha caretaker dynamic has... Uh, Giving me a a, 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 a big sense of um, my two moms, which also points toward the like they were roommates and thing, but who knows? You know, Nico has a like a pride pin on in her main outfit, so I'm hoping that the characters in this game that are queer get to be queer. There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah? Caretaker was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. So I'm not super Trials. sure whether these Elder Gods are supposed to be, like, cosmic horror Elder Gods. Because these look more like Hellhounds, right? Than yes, Cthulhu creator critters. Found a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? What a good dog. Charlie? The old gods what a good are dog. responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. Who is a fierce hell the goddess hound? of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes called the giver of justice. You can expect a fair fight, or at least her idea. Right, so if I mark all of these enemies, then it means that knocking them out um, is free. That hits both of those, and card replayed or refunded. Great. So if I then do this to that. That's two more. Your mother abandons you. 
and quick slash is still free. So if we use this here, then all of those enemies get marked. This is, let's see. Let's get you because this attack is already quick. So it's free. And then I can forceful knock back those. Now I don't have any way to draw extra cards. But I did get seven enemies KO'd by team in one turn. I can do a move, which means that I can um Okay, I can move to here. And then I can probably vault against this enemy. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just knocked the thing at the enemy. Okay. Hey, Redwell. Yeah, this is the first um, Moon Seal challenge. The one right after seeing that Agatha. Ag Ag Agatha is still around as a ghost Compared spirit. Our girl, these hellhounds are nothing but mindless beasts. Don't hesitate to They certainly won't. You know, ghost mom. Good hellhound. Good girl, Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. You finished this trial, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting. Okay. Yes, Charlie is awesome. I kind of wish you could bring Charlie with you on normal missions, but I understand the idea, the suggestion, or the decision to not have this, to not make Charlie a kind of like a full party member in terms of like manipulating her deck and things like that. But if you get to bring her on these challenges and she's involved in some of the other stuff in the game, then that's that that's just fine. It also means there's less you're less likely to have missions where like the dog gets hurt, like injured. Which I would be very happy to not have to to worry about. Uh, because I don't want dogs to be sad. So now we're doing some uh, some light spelunking. Got a moon seal, which we put here. Which gives you, allows magical locks and gates to be opened. This is the word of power open. Open will allow you to get access to new areas of the abbey and its grounds, which are locked by magical means. I was right to be wary of this place, but it's your birthright. And I think after everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind, the blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. They don't have a lot else to do. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? Okay. So there's no, like, hidden loot back here, because that's not the kind of game this is. So this is uh, Fusroda. Goddess of order it's not actually Fusroda, it just kind of looks like it, it's, which is funny. So, if I want to get arcane keys, I'll come back to this. In offline play, I started getting arcane keys, so I wanted to go up there um, and After see it. All this time, I forgot that it would add it to my map, which is also handy. As the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Is Transia of supposed to be like no Transylvania? They wound up so close to Salem. 
This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. What's that big purple That's why the beacon. Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old sorcerer supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah, uh, caretaker, isn't ready to see me yet. Good night, Hunter. Okay, and now the next day. Step one, pet dog. Good girl, Charlie. Okay. Ahem. Uh, is this thing on? Uh, Hunter, please come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, that's Hunter to the forge. Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate. The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you. I am detecting... Powerful emanations from Powerful inside. emanations! If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony, and perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. You don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss. If All Hydra of the subsystems. If acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever is in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the like mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. I hope the two of you create something powerful. I want to stop Lilith quickly and decisively. As I said, I'm sure it can help us. I just need to convince Tony to set his ego aside. Yeah, good luck with that. His discomfort with the esoteric nature of the arcane might be a problem. But Tony's eccentricities aside, I know you can make this work. Right now, with the sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. Yeah. Metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. All right. The anvil, Hunter. We do not have time to spare. So, now we use the forge. You have my undivided attention. In this reality, anyway. Studying artifacts. Studying artifacts unlocks more powerful research projects at the forge and generates significant resources for use in ability upgrades and crafting. So, we study this thing. Doctor Strange does some stuff. By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. 
these barbarians have no idea what they he is very snooty for. in this it's Perhaps pretty fun did. honestly Maybe how's it going the kids are asleep are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with a distressing thought if they had my dagger then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers the cube of nothingness the tear of propia and most worrisome of all your toothbrush you uh had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath uh oh, i just me. said that charlie is Sorry. wonderful doc's right hunter I and that three glasses I... of water just to walk through the sanctum's front door this is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness I'm waiting for him to, say. to put a lid on this mess pronto i believe carol is already working on it at last now so much talking has been returned to its i get why charlie isn't a, a party member um especially because it lets us avoid various scenes of the dog getting injured which i'm happy to not have to deal with a simple object though certainly not useless knife the eternity dagger research level increased which will let us do research projects research projects take one day to complete but grant powerful rewards like room upgrades combat items and hero outfits so we can do supernatural fabrication war games the way of the fang but we have to do more missions with blade so single use items i wanted to do war games because you get uh an additional ability when analyzing gamma coils so we might as well get that as early as possible speaking of which we have a gamma coil to analyze Holy Flame, damage an enemy or restore 32 health. So that's pretty great. Photon Beam, we already have one. So we already have these, and this is a new ability. So I'm going to pick the new ability to add to the Hunter's deck. And research is ongoing. You gain a new ability. We can open their hero screen. Heroes can be equipped, or abilities can be equipped or swap with the cards already in the deck. Unused abilities should be salvaged for essence, which is required for upgrades, items, and more. So edit deck. We are going to take out one of these heals. Oh, the heal does give plus two heroism, though. So I'm going to take out one of the slashes and add holy flame. You have to have at least one attack, at least one skill, and at least one heroic. Customization, and yeah, we already have this, so that's that. Hey, Hunter, uh, got a sec to spare? And now we go see Robbie. Oh, you moving into the forge, there's Hunter? stuff. So we have this Marvel tarot, the moon. Moon Knight hides his true identity behind his cloak, behind his cloak and shadow. This card represents deception, but also creativity and the unconscious. So that's. These are the pickups that I mentioned. I'll use them later for upgrades, I believe. You've been here more in the past few days than I have since ever. The forge is pretty badass, but the creature trapped inside riles up my own inner demon. Um, speaking of, there's something you should know about me. You are bonded with the spirit of vengeance. Damn, you're good. How could you tell? You mean? You are not the first spirit of vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another just a few days. <clears throat> Three centuries ago. Oh, man. Um. Sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? That's what I call my spirit of vengeance. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with like 12 apostrophes. Also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Sumerian Sofa. No, but really, Sparky? Yeah, have a safe drive home. Thanks for hanging out, Redwell. It would be my honor to spar with a spirit of vengeance. 
Wow, he's real excited. Never thought he'd get bouncy, but here we are. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blade to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Love the floating um, candles. When you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kind of hard to miss. Okay. So I'm gonna go train with Ghost Rider and. Hunter, ready to get your burn on. There's Ghost Rider. Training with Ghost Rider. Spirits of vengeance train the hardest. Okay. Every day the hunter can choose a new partner to spar with, resulting in increased friendship and unique rewards. So, we pick a Ghost Rider because that's what we're doing here. And we'll give a combat bonus for the Ghost Rider. So, training XP, friendship XP, and uh, a copper, uh, combat bonus. Start the mission with three heroism for Ghost Rider. Upgrade abilities. Ready to work? We can now take the two slashes and combine them into an upgraded slash. Hunter, report to the war room. We've got a mission. Which is great. You called for me, Captain. We can't fight in here. It's the war room. I'm telling you, Carol works too. But yeah, I did. Now that Tony is finally starting to get a handle on his gremlin problem, I've been able to put Central to good use. Got a lead on some particularly gnarly Hydra operations happening in the city. But we need to move fast if we want to intercept them in time. Then let us get going. My thoughts exactly. There's just one problem, though. We seem to have lost our gatekeeper, Magic. Lost? Well, I updated her on the mission. She said something I can only assume to be a prolific swear word in Russian and disappeared. Literally. And with no magic... There is no passage to New York. Or anywhere, for that matter. Now you see my problem. It does seem like a bad idea to have only one way out of your pocket dimension. Do not worry, Captain. I will locate and alert her of the team's needs. There's that can-do, get-it-done, old-timey, prophesied savior of humanity attitude I was hoping to see today. Still, you better hurry. Not sure how long Hydra will remain in their current position. Then I shall make haste. Yes, you hasten as much as you can, Hunter. Okay, so... Because I've done this, I know that Ileana is actually just hanging out in here. This room belonged to the Scarlet Witch, did it not? Wanda. It belongs to Wanda. Let me guess. You are to ask me to do the one thing the others value me for. Opening their precious portal. Well, I am in the middle of something. Come back later. Being a bit petulant. It is never easy to lose a comrade. I know this too well. We did not lose Wanda. We let her go. Before any of this started. Wanda's first grimoire. Agatha gave it to her when she was teaching her witchcraft, the dark arts. She was trying to help Wanda control her powers. She would never let me read it. So now I read it. I do not suppose there are any spells in there that will banish Lilith and save the world. Hard to say. These incantations appear to have been written for Wanda alone. <sighs> Maybe a world without Wanda is one we are not meant to save. I know no, she's not going without. to come she's face just to face with true evil itself. In a bad place. To be dragged to some hell dimension so hot that your soul is scorched black. Your heart so filled with soot that it chokes out all the bright parts of you. She's talking about herself. Maybe you are just a dark thing of smoke and ash. I cannot let such a fate happen to her. 
Then put the damn book down and help me get her back. You are nothing if not direct. Not to mention unrelenting. I can respect that. And perhaps you are not entirely incorrect. Magic responds okay. I will well to that kind of portal. forceful, it is time such direct as this, I wish kind of response. Else here could drill holes through space and time. Perhaps Doctor Strange should spend less time tinkering with Tony Stark in the forge Sorry, and focus more on his magic. Water. Um, yeah, you should have multiple no people who can do the portal thing. I will be there it's when a problem. Ready, Hunter. Goodbye. Back to the war room. And then we can go do a mission. I take it you found our gatekeeper. Then let me explain what's going on. When Hydra isn't preoccupied with world-ending scenarios, they spend a lot of their free time terrorizing the citizens of New York through various low-level operations. Like blowing up a power substation. It's fairly routine stuff for heroes these days. And worst case, we'll still get some fresh intel in the process. Why don't you check the mirror table and see what we've got on our plate? I'm referring to the, uh, the destruct- the kind of explosion at a power station or several power stations in South Carolina, which dropped, uh, knocked out power to a whole county, more or less. And there is, um, I would say, considerable anecdotal and circumstantial evidence pointing toward it being a uh, far-right uh, attack, at least partially intended to uh, prevent a drag queen story hour from happening. But... I believe that investigation is probably ongoing. The question is if it's being done uh, by uh, some who were who uh, work forces also burn crosses. It would actually be faster if I were alive. So what is stopping you? The shockwave would shatter most of the glass in my approach path. Huh. That is not good. Yeah, I try to be considered. Yes. Here we go. We're sending you straight to the coordinates Captain Marvel identified in New York. Dr. Banner has confirmed that the gamma signatures in the area match those of Faustus's weapon. We need to recover whatever intel we can if we're going to find out exactly what's going on down there. Yeah, the FBI are much less likely to have as strong local ties and FBI involvement means more, or it comes with, slash means, greater national attention, which reduces their chances of being able to uh, cover up something real. Not that it can't happen, but there's enough attention on it that we're more likely to get um, answers. So we need to target the helicopter with attacks to disable it before our timer runs out. So these are cards that we will get if we defeat these specific enemies. Bonus mission cards. Certain enemies will grant powerful cards when KO'd. Tip, highlight an enemy with the cursor to see what card they will grant. Like Captain Marvel was right on the... Ah, heroes. A single All right, so we've got... We don't need to do a heal your here. Appetite for destruction. You insist on meddling further, forcing our hand yet again. That's just lovely. Faustus has a radio. I'm assuming whatever Hydra is attempting to flee with on that chopper is our target. I suggest we stop it and see for ourselves. All right, so I can use this Holy Flame attack. Uh, oh, that's only 20 damage. So this enemy has 60. The helicopter has 84 health. And there are a number of minions. I can just go ahead and use Drain Soul. And because it's chain, I should be able to do one, two, and just take out two enemies in one go. Leave some for the rest of us. And quick on a minion. We get the card refunded. 
Let's see. I can, if I do this, I go, yeah, actually that'll work. So if I do it here, it'll hit both of those enemies. It'll hit the helicopter and that beefy enemy, which sounds good. And I can do this because Ghost Rider got the popular trait, which meant we started this fight with great. three heroism, because normally you fight, start the fight with zero heroism. And I'm going to... Um, yeah, let's put a drop here. Now I'm using this because it gives... Our skills give two heroism, right? When an enemy is knocked back into a drop, they have a chance to be instantly KO'd. Instant KO chance goes up as the enemy's health is reduced. Heroes and supervillains cannot be knocked into drops. We do have a move left, which means that I can maybe use this. No? Okay, what about... No? Can I... I think I set myself up to not be able to do things. Maybe I can do the vault now. Oh, come on. They're right there. Oh, that works. Very satisfying. Okay. Now we're done. And that one enemy will attack. Oh, two enemies. This beefy one. I'm a glutton for punishment. So weak, I think, means that the, that character does less damage for a turn. A couple more minions come in. You don't even know what it is you're pursuing. Yep. Offense reduced by 50%. For one turn. Show yourself to me, Faustus, and I will open more than your eyes. Such ferocious spirit. You truly are your mother's child, Hunter. All right, let's do this one, because knocking that enemy out will give me that helicopter Why delay you your power. Apparently she is promiscuous. And now we can whip. So it'll knock that enemy out, and then I will you hit the minion. Yes. So that's more enemies off the board. Weak, even for Hydra. We'll use... Oh, let's see. That counts as a card, a card use, right? So let's... We don't have the heroism for that, so we're going to redraw Fists of Radiance. We're going to discard it. Don't need two of this One Step Ahead card. So this reduces uh, damage because she's been made weak, but this enemy is just a minion, so that's that. It does mean we only get the three block instead of, um, instead of more, but now I can have the hunter vault and hit that enemy, which is good. It does use heroism, but gets going. I didn't end up using the the drop thing because I put it in a place that wasn't as useful. Right, so she's getting weakened again by this enemy. Hunter gets attacked. Reinforcements coming, so more baddies. I got a heal and I got a drain soul. With pleasure. Alright, how's our health looking? 64, 31. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and use heal. The light will heal you. Very good. So she's weakened again. Therefore I'm gonna redraw probably both of her cards to have other people do stuff. Alright, this one is forceful knockback. So I can do that. You are lucky to still be breathing. 
We got one card play left and three heroism. So we can do Drain Soul. We're gonna do two uh, all those hits on the helicopter to do a bunch of damage. And then I do have one heroism, so let's see you can do that. That is in range to hit that enemy. Cool. And we've got two turns left, so I don't need to use delay helicopter. That enemy is still going to be a jerk, but this time vulnerable instead of weak. So and one any turn, turns it, remaining, one. Le leash. We, will stop we have zero heroism, oh, so we need no to use no delay helicopter. Redraw that. Alright, so we're going to do forceful knockback into that big, that tough thing. So that did not, not knock bad. the enemy out entirely. 24 health left. We do have redraws left, so we're not gonna get to hell ride this turn. So we only have one heroism. Knee strike and taunt. It will give some block, and that's good. will mitigate some other things and we get go binary which gives extra block and that's that Pull back and regroup for high so Carol is slowed but then we need to do a bunch of damage to that you have 16 health left We don't need to do heal here, so we're gonna discard that. Knee strike 17, you have 16 left, so that's perfect. And then we're gonna redraw that because we don't need a drop. Drain soul. Yes, let's hit it with all the chain attacks. to knock back. Okay. So we don't do that. I may actually fail this mission because I don't know that I have any more damage car damaging cards and this st still has seven health left. So we may have to start over. Oh well. I'm going to restart the encounter because I would like to not have failed that just didn't draw as many of my damaging cards in an array that would have done what I wanted. That's fine. We do get that starting heroism. I think I am still going to start with this because it does a bunch of damage. I just need to be putting damage on the helicopter all the time and worry less about taking out the minions. So let's go ahead and use that big hit on the helicopter as well. That was something. Quick slash on a minion. Redraw the heal. Redraw that. Brain soul. You have been judged. Double attack on the helicopter. So that's how that works. And we do have one heroism, so Hunter can use something. Or maybe Captain Marvel can. Let's 
let's go here. Because then we can... Okay, I guess it takes your move to do that. Very well. So we're going to take a bunch of attacks because I focused on the helicopter instead of the minions. We'll see how that ends up playing. Carol's going to need either to go binary and get a bunch of block or a heal. Reinforcements incoming. That's a lot of enemies. All right, so we're going to need some AoE or something like that. Damage each enemy in a line. That could be handy. Show yourself to me, Faustus. You truly are your mother's child, Hunter. Let's get rid of that. Because when you use Hellride, you discard your entire hand, so I want it to be my last card. Okay, cool. So we can restore a bunch of health on Captain Marvel. Light is on our side. I owe you one. And then we're going to move Ghost Rider to... Actually, yeah, I put the drop in the wrong place. Because I want to use... Ah, oh, that sucks. I can't use Hellride because it just drops into this thing. See, so it goes right into the into the drop. I could use it on that enemy, but then it, that's a, a big use of heroism with uh, I'm on it. To not a huge result. You should have known that. Okay, and that's all the card plays. still have the hell ride and the or the thing will go away in a turn and I can move Robbie again and maybe do the hell ride on a different line and still get some utility out of it very funny the first time that I did this I did not really struggle with uh, with getting all of these enemies down so, buff So With pleasure. I can do this, and it will have me. It will make it so that I move somewhere, and then I'm gonna knock this enemy into that enemy. Nice move. And then I can use Hellride. It'll do 51 damage, and that'll take out both of those enemies. Sounds good to me. Because then I just have to defeat them in the points. Whoa, metal as hell! Which is the kind of the point. So, defeat the remaining enemies to complete the mission. That should keep them grounded. Now let's get everything back to the Abbey for analysis. Such arrogance. Our brave soldiers will never allow you. Oh, shut up already. Take them down. All right, and we're going to use this to get a bunch of block. And we don't have any cards, so that's that. Think throw a box at them is on the agenda. There's a box right there. Wow, focus fire. fan. So it costs two heroism to do revive. I don't have enough for that. So 
When Ghost Rider KOs a number of enemies that fills the soul meter, he will draw a copy of Drain Souls. So Drain Souls is one of these moves. Drain all... Um, so when you use Drain Soul multiple times, it will kind of make the other stuff more powerful, but also harder to use. But if I use one more card, I will get to be able to do Hell Ride again, which would be pretty great. So, but revive costs two heroism, and I would like to revive the hunter. I then need Just to use that last card play to uh, to make sure to reduce the number of enemies that can be uh, attacking. Go binary. And now, throw a box. Watch and learn. Incredible cosmic power. Here's a box. I'm going to throw a box at you. Alright, we're out of that. So let's knock you jerks into each other. Damage for both of you. They get to counter, but I had a bunch of block. However, he is very low on health, so he is also going to get KO'd. So, looks like he got an injury. That means I will have to use other characters for a little while, and that's fine. Can I heal a KO'd character? No. I have to use Revive. Good to know. 20 damage. You do not have 20 health. So that Weak, takes you out. This does not... Um, remove the injury. So, let's heal yourself to avoid... Getting an injury. Uh, but you have only 30 health, so you get lasered. Well done. Seems like that's the last of them. Last? <laughs> there are more heads to the Hydra than you will ever comprehend, heroes. This is a minor setback at most. Well, at least we don't have to listen to you any longer today. I consider that alone a victory. Good bit. I like that we got this kind of scorch rubber mark where uh, he well used that uh, car attack. They are now. Stay sharp. I sense something. I sense. Count on it. I, I, I was going to say a Canadian, but I'm not sure that Sabretooth is Canadian. Wolverine is Canadian. Alright, only got one star, because I think, yeah, I got, I let two heroes get KO'd. So I don't get as much of the cosmetic stuff, but I do get both of the mission rewards that are there. It is 340, so I, hmm. Because it's Friday, I think what I'm going to do is wrap at about two hours of stream rather than taking a break now and then going until five because I have some errands to do and weekend. I would like to see Meg. She's already home. I don't know that I will stream over the weekend because I've, I've got other stuff going on, but we have the Speculate Destiny thing tonight, as I mentioned. Okay, thank you for the confirmation, Sanguine Haze. So heroes level up. The heroes all level together, so I don't have to worry about so much about Why, hello, Hunter. Um, rotating everybody you chill magic? as much. You could say that. I've been staring at the night sky trying to figure it out. Figure what out? You're observant, Hunter. You tell me. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm not in the mood for riddles. You overestimate my observational abilities. Seems I have. Funny, you are the only living child of the Mother of Demons. Yet I still have a greater connection to the darkness. The darkness? No parents. When I was holding the transdimensional door for you back there. I sensed something was at the docks with you. Something dark and familiar. Something what did you Canadian. See, Ileana? I did not see, I said. I sensed something there. But that's not the only thing I sensed today. Oh? Something has shifted in limbo. But I cannot quite put my finger on it. All I know is that whatever is happening is also strangely familiar to me. And when all you knew was darkness and despair growing up, that warm, fuzzy feeling of familiarity is not just a warning sign, but an alarm bell. I know what you mean. Danger is something I am a little too comfortable with myself. Reminds me of my mother. There is almost a comfort in it. Yes, you understand. Not many can. I'd like to be left to my thoughts now, Hunter. So maybe I end up in the I middle. I still have a lot of this. thinking to do. While I try to make sense of what I felt at the docks and the energetic shifts that ripple through limbo, I will let you know if I do. Because none of the dark answers so far have been, or they've been curt or terse, maybe a bit blunt, but not like evil. So the benefits, uh, there are specific cards that you can get access to if you are heavy on light, heavy on dark, or in the middle, is my understanding. Velvet curtain, plush dog bed, always upgrade do dog bed immediately. Okay. Looks like we, so it's evening now, we can do hangouts. With whom shall we hang out? So these hey, characters are so not available for hangouts. Up, you look pretty fresh. These are. Hunt. So let's hang out with Blade. Uh, we can do exploring the grounds, fishing. I need to get something off my chest. Go for it. I can't stand vampire movies. <laughs> Why not? Why do you think? They take vicious killers and present them as tragic and misunderstood. <laughs> I don't know that my, the, my vision of the hunter is quite that uh, likely to poke directly at, at Blade. Perhaps vampires are making movies about themselves to garner sympathy. I used to think so. I spent a month in Los Angeles running it down. And? Maybe back in the day, but now studios throw anything at the Well, I'm very glad to have gotten this dialogue. Is that why there were movies about... What did Nico call them? Sparkle vampires. Sparkle vampires. Very you fun. Know, I didn't hate those movies. Thought I would. Why not? Sparkle vampires don't exist. For me, it was fiction. Okay. Although so I it's, did root for the werewolf. It's acceptable because it's more, it's farther away we from reality, right? Again. Okay, that's very fun. Getting up there toward a friendship level with Blade. And now I'm going to use this. This is the thing that will open the library. I'm glad to see you're getting comfortable with the words of power, Hunter. If you're going to continue our little investigation at the Abbey, they'll be vital to your success. Investigation? A side project, but a potentially transformative one. With my blessing, 
Wanda was working to uncover what may be the most powerful. Just what in the hell do you think you're doing in here? Standing in the library? I've given you free reign so you could get back on your feet. But I never thought you'd pull something like this. I... What is it you think I am doing, exactly? Don't be coy. It does not suit you. I told you how hard it's been since we lost Agatha. Instead of letting it rest, you decide to... ...reopen the wound? Oh, Sarah. I would never... I never thought of this place like that. Of course you didn't. And now, it's done. Why should I ever stand in your way? That anger wasn't meant for you, dear. You know that, right? Don't hold it against Sarah. She may try to mask her feelings, but you know she is struggling with what happened. Why are you hiding from her? For most people, the captivating relationships of their lives are formed over a matter of days and years. Sarah and I spent centuries together exploring this world, fighting the darkness, watching cities and even nations fall and then crumble. And yet we persevered together. You still have not answered my question. It may be difficult to understand, but she needs this time. Sending Wanda away, sealing Very the library, different from MCU, Agatha. Yeah. That elaborate memorial she conjured up. She didn't waste any time trying to bury what happened. You are right. I do not understand. It isn't up to me to reveal myself. It's up to her to accept what happened and allow herself to grieve. When that happens, we'll see each other again, but not before. I trust you will do what is right for Sarah. So, what is it you are looking at here? Yes, we should get back to the real reason I asked you to meet me here. Wanda's journal. The Abbey Grounds have a great deal of history. Many of its secrets remain hidden. That Even feeling when one of your magic moms Even tells to you, you to use magic to open up a library and then your other Wanda magic mom gets angry because she hasn't done a good job of grieving the other magic mom who she maybe sense. dated slash was in a long-term relationship Sarah with. Had no intention of waking you to investigate. Wanda felt it was up to her to take your place. Of course, being the clever girl that she is, her notes are written in an ancient transient cipher that I've only just begun to understand. Have a look at the first entry. Good dog, Charlie. Excerpt from Wanda's journal. I have to restore what I've taken from the altar. The damage I've done can only be reversed when all the elemental rods have returned. I'm sure it still seems a bit cryptic. But Wanda was definitely on to something. If you remember my altar, that's where she was conducting her experiments. An investigation that involves experiments? Why do I feel like you are going to get me into trouble? <laughs> Since when has that ever stopped you? Let's meet out at the altar. I'll try to do a better job of explaining from there. Charlie will show you the way if you've forgotten. If you've forgotten, just handy tutorialization. Purple arcane key. Okay, let's go, Charlie. What a good hellhound. Charlie needs walks too, so. And magic stuff. Blessings of the goddess. Good dog. 
Like most things on the grounds here, there's more to this place than meets the eye. Do you remember the words I taught you as a child? Are you going to make me say it? Humor an old dead woman. Oh. Hocus pocus. BAFTA. Ah, oh, you haven't lost your touch, dear. The words may be simple, but these plinths won't appear for just anyone. Each represents one of the basic elements. Their power activated Side only quests. by the elemental rods they would normally be holding. And where are the elemental rods now? They're scattered. Scattered to the wind, unfortunately. A side effect of Wanda's experiments here. Let me guess. That's right. I want you to find the missing rods and return them here. Hopefully, as I decipher Wanda's journal, her notes will aid in the search. But you have not actually told me what the greater purpose is here. What are we doing this for? All in good time, dear. After what happened with Wanda, I'd rather you take things slowly. In fact, I don't want you overthinking this little project. There's no rush and you don't have to help if you don't feel like it. But there is one more thing before so I'm guessing I head back to the that's library. partially the game saying, like, this is a side quest. An arcane key. Just a little something. A token for your efforts so far. The key can be used to open that chest nearby. Like so many other oddities around here, those chests tend to appear before those who deserve them most. Make yourself that person. That seems intentionally vague. It's more fun that way, isn't it? I'll be in the library working on the translations if you need me, dear. Good luck. Yeah, it is nice of the game to communicate that something is kind of side content slash optional, especially because there's, we're just getting to the point where there's a bunch of subsystems and if it felt like they were all important, then that could get tricky. Look for arcane chests, you get them, you give them loot. The higher your arcane level, the more rewards each chest will have. See, we want to raise our arcane level. We need to gather random stuff because it's that kind of game as well. We can explore at our own leisure. The goddess of order approves. The whispering wood. This so looks like a fairy got some ring. Broken stuff. That's the, the air rod. rod. I should take this back to the altar. Okay. And I found one other rod when I was playing offline. So the Symbols on the rod have to match the symbols on the plinth. The old magic still holds. So then we got another arcane key. I am going to Let's see. Yeah, this is ah, this is a a haven for um, hangouts. We're gonna run around here a little bit. Tarot card, death stands before the black vortex surrounded by the prized infinity stones, tempting us with possibility. This card represents transformation and entering a new phase of one's life. It does not literally mean death most of the time. That was just a ruin. I've not figured out anything else that's supposed to do so far. Here's another card. Wheel of Fortune. Domino knows the way in which the wheel will turn, and shows the answer in the playing cards she displays. This card represents luck and good fortune, along with the opportunity in the future. So, looks like there's 22 cards for the uh, 
glowing apothecary vessel. Okay. Um, for all the major arcana. And that's this thing, so we're going to go back. I've got one more arcane key, which I think I'm going to use on something in the building. We already have all those. We go here. We're going to go that way. Uh, no, sorry. Wrong one. We go this way to get back to... the abbey itself. There's a little swimming hole where people can hang out. And I'm going to go open this arcane key and we'll see what's in there. A mercury totem. Draw a card with quick and that one is free. Okay. And we are out of arcane keys. And I think it is now time for bed because we just did an evening thing. Yep, that's what's highlighted as it will advance the story. So we are at just about two hours, so I'm going to call it here. Thank you for hanging out with me as I poke around Marvel's Midnight Suns. I'm going to do a save. New save. This is night three stream. So thank you to Sanguine Hayes and the kids are asleep and Red Whale 335 all for hanging out plus anybody who was lurking um, and didn't uh, sound off in chat, which is 100% cool. And uh, thanks to folks who are watching over on YouTube. I'm going to use this little command here as a reminder that uh, tonight, Friday uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm going to be playing Destiny on stream with Greg and uh, Brandon over at twitch.tv slash Arvin Elrond, and you can join us there. Otherwise, I hope you have a good weekend or, you know, good week if you're watching this later on. Time is weird. Content on the internet. It's forever, more or less. All right. That's that, and I'm going to head off. Take care.